Welcome to Glorified Gutsy Gaming. I'm Jake, and this is Intergalactic Ace, a dice rolling card game full of strategy, risk taking, and chance. Defeat five enemy ships before your opponents do. For two to six players, 20 to 30 minutes, ages 10 and up. You are a hotshot rookie fighter pilot. You are looking to prove you have what it takes to be the best in the galaxy by being the first of your opponents to get five kills and become an intergalactic ace. Upgrade your ship, scan for enemies, roll to beat enemy ships, get five kill markers to win. Each player gets their own laser cut ship to keep track of stats. Use upgrade cards to take your ship to the next level. Use a scan to see what dangers lie ahead or save some time and go to battle without scanning first. Roll high to beat ships. If you roll too low, you could take serious damage and even lose kills. <coughs> Avoid damage to your ship, but don't play it so safe that you lose sight of the goal. Getting five kills before anyone else. So this says two to six, but I know that there are some player expansions you can buy for just a couple more dollars a piece. There's three, so it does go up to nine with expansion. And this is a prototype copy, so it is not completely uh, finalized, but this is likely pretty close based on what I know. So we've got our rule book with a really cool back bagpipe looking ship and the, the same kind of stuff here gives you more uh, scenario the years 2311 and it just goes through the basic setup. I've already read all this on uh, on the crowdfunding page so it just goes into detail about some stuff so I'll talk about some of that as it goes so we've got, I'm going to just pull out the big stuff now. So I can definitely smell the laser cutting on this wood. So this is, this is thick wood with different spots for weapons and cloaking and kills, scans, maneuvering, so all sorts of stats. down because we're going to be putting the pegs in to mark our spot. So if you have cloaking two, you stick it in one of these pegs in where it goes. And we've got this here, it looks like a first turn player marker but these are your kills so when you acquire those kills that you need five of to win they have a designated spot that goes here ever so slightly indented and I think these look really detailed for for like wood laser engraving or whatever the, the technical term is Put that upside down they're really nice looking and these are wood too all of this is all wood and we've got just their, their card to, to show their links and things for their their campaign. And then we've got the the upgrade cards and whatnot here, which I will open now. Alright. Alright, first we have these are kind of like uh, reference cards telling you how fighting an enemy works and what the outcomes are based on dice rolls and whatnot. And then the turn order stuff telling you your three possible actions, which are upgrade, scan, or fight an enemy. So there's a couple of these. And then starter cards, these are your starting stats for your ship. So in this instance, you get four weapons. Three cloaking, and so on. And then there are upgrades that you get to also add. And that you can, when you upgrade, you can choose to upgrade. Um, I think you get three upgrade points, and you can pick to put them in whatever you want, or you can go based on drawing a card. And you get more on the card 
but it's not as specialized and not necessarily in the stat that you want. But so this one will upgrade your speed, fuel, and shields. And then we have the enemy ships that you're trying to defeat in order to get five kills to win. So I'll go through all these because they have different art. This is the pillbox. I think the shape is kind of interesting. I <laughs> wish the lettering was was not there, but it's got different stats here. And you have to be, uh, t in order to, to, to win, or to even fight the ship, you have to have three stats that are the same or higher. So anybody should be able to, to match these speed maneuvering and cloaking skills, I would imagine. And then when you roll your two dice, these two black dice, you have to get higher than a nine. So that's a bit of a high roll to get, but to fight it initially, quite easy. X-Foil Fighter. So it's got a little bit of a lower defense, but stats are higher, so it takes a little bit more to challenge it. Then we've got the Glorg Cube. It's got a defense of six. That should be pretty easy. Stats are pretty high, though. Another six. The Quarter Dollar Enterprise, the USS Entrepreneurship. So you can just see all the stats there. The Grave Star looks pretty cool. It's only got a defense of two. So really high stats, but should uh, defeat this. If there's a tie, then nothing happens. You have to get higher than that number there. So unless you roll snake eyes, you will win that one. The green headlamp only has a defense of three. So you'll see that the ones that are easier to fight, there's a, there's a theme there. Space car time machine. We're going back to the future. Then there's that floor, the floating Scotsman that was on the rule book that I talked about liking. I think that looks really cool. Looks like a cool design for a ship. The Turtis looks like a portal going, <laughs> accepting a porta potty. And the Millennial Falcon looks like a big phone. The Kling Wrap Destroyer. I think this is a really cool looking card too. This one and the Scotsman, I think, are my favorite. And then there's a couple cards that let you fight an opposing player. And anytime you fight an opposing player, their defense is 7, so it's kind of right in the middle. And the, the stats you're comparing, or the, the stats you're using are the actual player stats that you're fighting. If you win, you steal one of their kills. And if you lose, they steal one of your kills. So there's equal risk and reward for both players, unless one of them doesn't have a kill. And if neither of them has a kill, then I'm not sure what they're fighting for. And this one I didn't actually know about. I didn't see this in the rules. Resurrect an enemy ship from the discard pile. That would be fun. Alright, so that is all the cards and everything in and on the box of Intergalactic Ace. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.